Yemen's Houthi rebels claimed Monday that they shot down another American-made MQ-9 Reaper drone. A video circulating online showed what appeared to be a surface-to-air missile strike and flaming wreckage strewn across the ground. The U.S. military did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the Houthis' claimed downing of a drone over the country's southwestern Damar province. The Houthis have exaggerated claims in the past in their ongoing campaign targeting shipping in the Red Sea over the Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip. However, the online video bolstered the claim, particularly after two recent claims by the Houthis included no evidence. Other videos showed armed rebels gathered around the flaming wreckage, a propeller similar to those used by the armed drone visible in the flames. Brig General Yehya Sari, a Houthi military spokesperson, identified the drone as an MQ-9, without elaborating on how he came to the determination. He said it was the third downed by the group in a week, though the other two claims did not include similar video or other evidence. The U.S. military similarly has not acknowledged losing any aircraft. Sari said the Houthis used a locally produced missile. However, Iran has armed the rebels with a surface-to-air missile known as the 358 for years. Iran denies arming the rebels, though Tehran manufactured weaponry has been found on the battlefield and in seaborne shipments heading to Yemen despite a United Nations arms embargo. Reapers, which cost around $30 million apiece, can fly at altitudes up to 50,000 feet and have an endurance of up to 24 hours before needing to land. The aircraft have been flown by both the U.S. military and the CIA over Yemen for years. The Houthis have targeted more than 80 merchant vessels with missiles and drones since the war in Gaza started in October. They seized one vessel and sank two in the campaign that has also killed four sailors. هي الثالثة خلال أسبوع والعاشرة من هذا النوع والتي تتمكن دفاعاتنا الجوية من إسقاطها في معركة الفتح الموعود والجهاد المقدس إسنادا لغزة. Israeli warplanes carried out an aerial assault, launching a series of airstrikes targeting the Mamoudia area in southern Lebanon, state-run national news agency said on Sunday. The Israeli jets fired several air-to-ground missiles at the targeted area causing explosions that reverberated throughout the Nabati and Iqlam al tuffa regions. Earlier in the day the Emergency Health Operations Center of the Lebanese Ministry of Public Health issued a statement announcing that the Israeli bombardment of the town of Edessa resulted in four people being injured. Among them, two required hospitalization for further treatment, while the other two were treated in the emergency room. The militant group Hezbollah said in telegram statements that its fighters carried out 10 attacks targeting Israeli posts along the Lebanese Israeli border on Sunday, in Galilee and Golan Heights. More than 500 people have been killed in Lebanon by Israeli strikes since October 8, most of them fighters with Hezbollah and other armed groups but also more than 100 civilians. In northern Israel, 23 soldiers and 26 civilians have been killed by strikes from Lebanon. Hezbollah began firing rockets and drones at Israel shortly after the outbreak of the war in Gaza, which was triggered by Hamas surprise attack into Israel on October 7. Israel has responded with airstrikes. <laughs>